kolejny odcinek. Razem zaczynamy w Paryżu. Zobaczymy jak to idzie. I suppose you're going to follow me around this entire trip. That's what I'm here for, Mr. Rector. Well, I certainly hope Dexter's private plane was able to shake any pursuers. It would be nice to only have to think about my job for a change rather than being attacked. You worry about your job, sir. I'll take care of the rest. Hmm. Tabletka. Ciekawe na co mu podmieniono. David Walker. I need to find out who Captain Walker really is. I've started this dossier. No, zaczął prowadzić jego dossier. Cztery fakty. Gotowy się poświęcić, bo pomóc komuś w potrzebie. Często podróżował za granicę. Działu. Nieskutecznie. Karolinę, córka zamożnego biznesu na Henry'ego Alfonsa jest potomkinią kapaty Gów i Bourbonów. Okay. Teoria Mobiusa. Czytamy. Jak czwarty wymiar, jak... Mamy już czwarty wymiar, bo... Szerokość, wysokość, długość i czas. To są cztery wymiary, więc chyba przez piąty wymiar. Mhm. Jak taki błąd może być w takiej teorii? No chyba, że ktoś ma jakąś inną teorię na temat wymiarów i nie uznaje czasu za wymiar, no. Nie da się czasu nie uznać za wymiar, ponieważ czas jest współrzędną. Skoro czas jest współrzędną, no to jest wymiarem. Dlatego my żyjemy w czterech wymiarach, a ewentualny wymiar, który tutaj jest podany jako czwarty, to jak już to chodzi o piąty, zwłaszcza, że Sama czasoprzestrzeń też tu jest użyta jako współczynnik. No więc logiczne błędy w grze, która ma być logiczna. Nie dziwi mnie to. Widzę na tym tym. Dobra. Mniej więcej wiemy o co chodzi w teorii Mebiusa. Plants are real and not overly gaudy, which is more than I can say for most of the tourists staying here. For coffee cups, I suppose. There's a counter for adding cream and sugar to your coffee. 
I don't have a coffee, so there's nothing to put cream or... The barista. He has an elaborate neck tattoo. Parisians love their coffee, and it's usually excellent. The furniture is entirely modern, even if it does have a hint of classic style. I'm too keyed up to sit. Dobra. To przeanalizuj sobie dwa sprawy tego gościa. W nowoczesnym stylu, ale znoszone. Wyeksponowana czaszka wytatuowana na szyi. Albo to, albo to. Niedawno się z kimś bił, może czynę gangu tam. Mocno oznaczenie, co się nie istnieje. To zarówno do sportów ekstremalnych pasuje, jak i do tego, żeby się z kimś bił. No. Barista jest studentem i ryzykantem, to w jakiś rodzaj ekstremalnego sportu, a to tołaś ma dla niego znaczenie. I had coffee this morning. Too much isn't good for my... The barista. He has an ele... i dom Alfonsów. Najpierw by się wyda, wypadało może do biblioteki i dowiedzieć się co nieco o, tych, o tej rodzinie. A bo daj mi się z nimi spotkać, mi przyda się przygotować trochę. There's nothing in the book drop. I don't have any use for the... Whoever was drinking that coffee wears a vile shade of orange lipstick. I don't have any... Hmm. There's a post-it note on her monitor, but I can't see what... I don't think the librarian would appreciate it if I took yeah. the head librarian I presume she has an interesting fashion sense to przeanalizujmy ją taka bibliotekarka bym powiedział odrobinę sexy gdyby nie to że tu ma krzywe nogi tak taki układ ale okulary 
inne znużone spojrzenie. Pomarańczowe usta to nowi odzynkowy. Służbistka. <grywa> Daltonista. Niesfrustrowana. Kawoszka, tutaj na pewno kawoszka. I wszystko trafiłem od razu. Sztywna służbiska, uzależniona od kofeiny, która choć desperatko potrzebuje mężczyzny, nie jest mną zainteresowana. Excuse me. Yes. May I help you? I'm looking for information on Caroline Alphonse. Newspaper articles, a biography, things of that nature. If you mean the current Caroline Alphonse, she's much too young to have a biography. But there should be clippings from the press. Take uh, computer number two at the table over there. I'll send you what I find. Thank you. Do you have any information about Benedict de Montfroy? Let me look that up. There is something in the private archives, but access to that material is by invitation only. I'll pay. What's the fee? There is no fee. You must apply for a special grant and demonstrate the need for access. The process takes weeks. Would you care to fill out the form? No, that won't be necessary. Damn French bureaucracy. <laughs> Is there a place to get coffee around here? Unfortunately, no. I wish there was. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Dobra. I think I know who's Coffee this is. I'd like a closer look. The orange lipstick on that coffee cup is familiar. There's just enough left in the cup for me to get a sample. Naprawdę? Będziesz próbował kawę ze świetnika? The orange lipstick on that... I don't have anything to say to Mr. Walker. Informacje są już nam przesłała. Wycinki z gazet na temat tej kopitki, którą mamy analizować. Caroline was engaged to a 43-year-old man when she was just 19. Interesting. Caroline's fiancé called off the engagement. I wonder why.
Hmm. Caroline's parents divorced when she was still a teenager. I'll take a photo of these in case I need to reference them later. You can't get into the archives without a password. You can't get into. Mm -hmm. Potrzebujemy kawy. Potrzebuję kawy. I suppose I could buy a cup. Un café, s'il vous plaît. Un moment. Three euros, please. Merci. Pytanie. Pięć faktów. No. This biography is very basic. According to the Mobius info from Dexter. Rerick was the founding father of the modern Mobius theory and worked for the British. Hmm. I haven't heard of Montfroy. Must be information about him somewhere. Orange lipstick on that coffee cup is familiar. Boy. Another tan. It definitely has some cream in it. It tastes sweet. Far too sweet for my palate. It tastes sweet. It's rather tan. It definitely has some cream in it. looks right. This may be too sweet now. I should get rid of the coffee I already have before This may be too sweet. This coffee isn't right. I'll stop.
I'd like another. Three euros, please. Merci. Robienie kawy w bibliotekarce. I think the coffee is correct. I think the coffee is correct now, but perhaps I should dress it up a bit. Nie jest zainteresowana nim, więc raczej nie serca. Daj mi gwiazdkę. The coffee tastes right, but the shape isn't... <laughs> this coffee isn't right. I'd like another coffee. Three euros, please. Merci. Cztery razy sztuka. <laughs> This should appeal to a lonely librarian. This should appeal. Napełniony kubek. I don't want to throw that. Dlaczego? Po co ci jeszcze ten pusty kubek? Dobra. Kobito, pół miasta przejechałem za tą kawą. Proszę. That's a good idea, but I need to distract her away from this side of the desk. I think I'll need some help. Dobra, Walker. I need you to distract the librarian. Give her this coffee and be friendly. All right. He's wrapped her around his little finger, and I thought librarians were supposed to be intelligent. No, wiesz, mają też swoje potrzeby inne niż inteligencja, no więc. Składają się z wielu potrzeb, nie tylko z myślenia. There. Now to see if it's delivered. Mm. 
Ну. Да, вообще взыскать. Я с кем-то есть. Монфорти был опатом одного из наивнейших кластеров Франции. Интеллектом превышал звуковых людей, потрафил превышать на другие ниши глами все, что услышал или прочитал. Даже десять лет раньше. Приказы и свидетельства поводятся. Z jego klasztoru przedstawiają go jako człowieka okrutnego i wymagającego nękanego demonicznymi napadami, wprowadzonej przez siebie dzienka często wspominał o strasznych bólach głowy i doświadczeniach w odosobnieniu epizodach, które współczesna medycyna określiłoby jako ataki. Z klasztornych zapisków wynika, że wraz z wiekiem stan jego zdrowia zaczął się poprawiać. Był wybitnym uczonym, lecz jego dzieła nigdy nie zostały opublikowane. Nawet po tym, jak wraz ze swoim najbliższym towarzyszem świętym Armandem spłonął na stosie. Oh my God, he does sound familiar. This is very strange. It mentions a man named Saint Armand. I should see what I can learn about him. Got it. Let's do this. Armanda, we have to find out, right? Just need to pick it up. Przynajmniej tu z biblioteką już wszystko załatwione. Chyba wszystko. Święty Armand. Święty Armand to jeden z wielu rycerzy, który udział w krucjatach opiewał ówczesne balady, jednak najbardziej godny uwagi okresem jego życia jest czas, gdy był przyjacielem i osobistym obrońcą opata Benedicta de Montefroy. German porzucił walkę w krucjatach zamiast powrócić na rodzinną farmę we Francji lub doczekającej na niego żony podjął się zadania obrony klasztoru kierowanego przez de Montefroy. Zgodnie z średniowiecznymi dokumentami sądowymi obaj spłonęli na stosie. Mimo to szkielet świętego Armanda został odnaleziony w paryskich katakumbach, co każe przypuszczać, że uniknął on śmierci w płomieniach. No. Got it. Jak tam, randka? Excuse me. Yes, may I help you? Excuse me. Oui? I read that there's a medieval knight named Saint Armand buried in the Paris catacombs. Do you have any information on how I could go see that? Let me check for you. Yes, Saint Armand is called the Knight of the Catacombs, but I'm afraid the section where he's buried is off limits to the public. You're joking. Pas de tout. There are over 200 kilometers of tunnels and mines under Paris. Very dangerous. Only a small part of the catacombs is open to the public. You can find tourist brochures in the lobby. Damn it! The Paris catacombs sound fascinating. You wouldn't have some old maps I could peruse. Purely for the purpose of research, of course. It is illegal to go into the underground. All of our maps have been removed from circulation. Ah, uh, you're just fine. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Hmm. So you want to visit group, but you can't. Mieć dostępu do tego grobu tak łatwo. Nie, nie da się map stąd wziąć, dobra. No 
No to na chwilę obecną byłoby tyle. Aha, kubek sam zniknął. Kurde, nie rozumiem, niby jest pełny ekran, a i tak... Nie pojawiły się nawet te kumby. Dobra, no to idziemy do domu Karolin. Ale to już właściwie... Jeszcze w następnym odcinku, który... Z... To ten odcinek byłby dość krótki. A nie, to jeszcze można. Do domu Karolin. Good afternoon. I'm Malachi Rector, and this is my associate, Mr. Walker. We're here to see Caroline Alphonse. Please, come in. I am Brett, house manager for the Alphonse family. I received a call from the consulate that you were coming, but I'm afraid you must be disappointed. Caroline and her father are away for the weekend. However, I am at your service, monsieur. Hmm. Thank you, Brett. He says he's the house manager. I suppose that's something like a butler or... To trzeba go przeanalizować. Coś w tym pokoju go rozprasza. Ale co? Próbuję ukryć coś w pokoju. It appears to be a Chinese gold urn. Those doors are exceptional. The house is well maintained. That appears to be a Chinese Ming vase. The mirror appears to be broke, but I should take a closer look. Oh, kurde. That's an impressive piece of sculpture for a sitting room. It looks like Amadeo Modiani. Those are modern ceramics. The sofa and chairs are 19th century Italian. Good pieces. That's a burled wood cabinet. That mirror looks like a remarkable piece. But I should get closer. That fireplace is original to the house. Those books appear to be old from a distance. That appears to be an empire mantel clock, a fairly valuable antique. I should take a close. Wow, this is too The sofa and chairs are 19th century Italian. It's a genuine antique long case grandfather clock, 19th century. This is a terrible forgery. I can see the seam of the plastic frame under the gold paint. Horrendous. It's a fake, and not a very good one. An 18th century burlwood cabinet. The decorations indicate it was made here in Paris. 
It's genuine and worth at least five grand. The mirror is Swedish Rococo, dated to the mid 1700s, made by Niklas Meunier. Very nice. First editions, some of them quite fragile. The books are authentic. Hmm. That black lacquer is modern, and the gold is fake. It's a forgery. <laughs> this isn't a 14th century globe. It's a knockoff, not even a very good one. The furniture is just as it appears to be. They're sturdy pieces, but not particularly rare. It's gold leaf, and the urn itself is a modern replica. Tacky. The signature is wrong, and on closer inspection, the work is hasty. This is a fake. Tell me about Henri and Madeleine's divorce. The divorce was final in 2008. That is all I can tell you. Come now. The papers suggested it was Henri's fault. What happened? Truly, it is not for me to say. You must ask Henri or Madeleine. Did you know Caroline's mother, Madeleine? Naturellement. I have served the family for 15 years. I was here when Madeleine was still in the house. She is a beautiful and gracious woman. Sounds like you quite liked Madeleine. Is that why they divorced? Ridiculous gossip. <laughs> when Madeleine left, you stayed with Henri. You prefer him, do you? She is not able to pay me, or she would have taken me with her, monsieur. Ah, she called you again. When will Caroline or her father be back? Not for days. Henri is out of the country on business, and Caroline is away for the weekend. Do you know where she went? No, she did not tell me. Tell me about Caroline's father, Henri. Henri is a very important man, but you must know this already, eh? Exceptional businessman, doting father, pillar of the community, etc., etc. <laughs> Is that about it? So you say, monsieur. I'm sure you know best. Tell me about Caroline Alphonse. She is very special, intelligent, beautiful and kind. She is the creme de la creme in every way. You make Caroline sound like quite the paragon. But I read that her fiancé broke off the engagement. Do you know why? I do not gossip about the family, monsieur, but that man? He was an idiot. I'd like to see Caroline's room. I'm afraid that will not be possible. The consulate told you to cooperate with me. Did they not? They said you were coming. They did not say to give you access to the family's private rooms. I cannot allow it. Do you know what I find fascinating about this room? What is that? The astounding number of fake antiques. How long have you been stealing from the Alphonse family, Brett? I... it's not true! Come now. These aren't your ordinary knockoffs. These are fakes meant to replace very specific and valuable pieces. You've been having the fakes made and replacing them one by one. I don't suppose anyone in the family is smart enough to realize it. No! I... I do it for Madeleine's sake. Henri cheated her in the divorce. She got almost nothing. She needed my help. Carolyn knows about it and she approves. But not Henri. Please, do not tell him, monsieur. He will throw me out and make sure no one will hire me. I may be able to hold my tongue. But you'll need to be much more accommodating. Oui, monsieur. 
anything. How did Henri avoid paying Madeleine a divorce settlement? The papers indicated that he'd been unfaithful and violated the prenup. I do not know. Madeleine said he made it look like he had no money. He must have hidden it. But Madeleine's lawyer was unable to prove such a thing. Hmm. It may have something to do with Henri's business partner, Etienne. I do not trust that man. Tell me more about Etienne. He is Henri's business partner, a very sharp man, but I do not like him. The way he looks at Caroline, it is not right. I want to know where Caroline is and when she'll be back. Caroline won't be back until Monday night. She did not tell me where she was going, but I had the feeling it was a lover's rendezvous. One she was not looking forward to. Mm -hmm. I'd like to see Caroline's room now. Very well, monsieur. I will take you there. No, That's an exceptional mural. Magazine. Zobaczmy, co czyta. These are all current event and economic magazines. Caroline must have an interest in politics. I don't need to take those maps. This room has a remarkable view of Paris. It's a book about the Paris catacombs. It doesn't mention Saint Omar, unfortunately. I wonder why Caroline is interested in the catacombs. Caroline has a degree in economics from L'École Normale Supérieure de Paris. That's a prestigious university. Caroline's bed looks undisturbed. That head looks Victorian, but it's not a very attractive or valuable piece. I wonder why she keeps it. That's excellent oh. work. I didn't even notice the seam. Nice. I need the combination. It looks like it's six numbers. Perhaps a date. Może data. Sześć cyfr. <laughs> Na razie. That dresser is one of the better pieces in the house. There's nothing in there except women's clothing. Don't even go there. There's nothing in there except... Don't even...
nie mam tutaj. That mural is even more exceptional than. Data. Do to czego? Caroline has a degree in economics from Lecoq. Dobra, to tutaj po prostu ten odcinek zakończymy. Następny odcinek zaczniemy dokładnie z tego pokoju, także zapraszam.